Alright guys, so today I'm going to be trying to debunk another one of Henry Richardson's card tricks. So, the first one that I went over on this channel is actually able to go through, you know, list off everything he did. This way you guys can do the trick yourselves. So, uh, the second time, this trick that I'm going to be trying to go over right now, I have watched the video countless times over and over again trying to figure out exactly what he's been doing. So, I can't actually get all the details. So, like I was saying, this isn't going to be like a whole reveal type video. But I'm going to be going over what I know, what I think he's doing, and then you guys down in the comments can maybe go through, throw some uh, so, some suggestions, and then I'll re-upload a video later once I get the whole thing figured out. So, um, first things first, the cameramen at uh, America's Got Talent, they do a really good job at making cuts and editing the videos just right. So, I feel like... Um, a lot of the trick or a lot of like the magic you know is being done with um, some camera editing so I'll show you guys what I mean in a second so the first thing to, uh, he does is you know he comes out to uh, the spectators he comes out to all of them and he has Heidi pick a card from the deck so in this case this is a completely here I'll grab a deck but it's a completely random card that he actually has her he has her choosing so you know he spreads out the deck or whatever and this is a real deck he spreads it he gives her a card and here's what's going to happen. So she's going to sign uh, whatever card whatever card she has to sign. So the camera is now just completely angled at this card. Any card you like. Go ahead and sign it. Perfect. And now as you noticed, um, you know, you can't see what he's doing. But in reality, what he's doing is this is I'll kind of, you know, explain why he has to do this in a second. But really, all he has to do is as she's signing the card, he turns away from her, uh, the camera's pointed towards the card so you can't see what he's doing, and he puts the deck of cards into his pocket, and what he does is he ends up grabbing another deck. So we'll say this is, a, this is the other deck. So he ends up grabbing another deck which happens to have a, a random card, but this is going to be the king. So inside of his pocket he has that, you know, the transparent deck that's inside of his pocket with one card from the previous deck on top, and then he you know, brings this deck back out, this is still in his pocket now, and Heidi gives him back this card. So this is where I feel like the camera trick comes into place. Take that, uh, so Seal, do me a favor, man. Hold the moment he sticks this card, he goes, okay, Heidi, let me take your card. He puts it on top here, and the camera kind of just shows him with the card, the, uh, the eight of clubs that he's actually using the performance. It's face up at this point, and the moment he asks, uh, I, forget, I think his name is Seal, he asks him to hold the deck of cards, so he has the uh, the cards in his hand, this way, and then the moment he says he asks for Steel to hold the cards, that one your hands, I'll give you the deck, and you put your other hand on top. I feel like there has to be a slight break because there's no way that he's going to, he's going to say, okay, hold these cards, and the camera cuts, and immediately the cards are now in his left hand. He starts to sway over the cards, and the card, there's no way that the card can be face up, and I'll explain that in a second. So there's no possible way the card could be face up, and then he puts uh, see, he puts his hand, and then he takes Seal's hand and put that on top of his. So pretend there's another hand on top of me, and he says, "Okay, would it be impressive if I pulled out your card from the deck?" But there's no way that he would have given the deck with his card face up, having Seal, you know, hold the cards like this, because it wouldn't be impressive at all if he pulled out the same card that was face up, even in the first place if he really did pull it out. So in my opinion. And like I said, you can't really see what card's even on top, but I assume there was a camera cut, and he was able, uh, at this point, he was able to slip the card away. He was probably talking to spectators, misdirecting them. He was able to do something with this card, and then this is when I believe he folds this card up at this point. So pretend this is the spectator's card. This gets folded up. He's going to put this maybe in his pocket or, in his, or somewhere where the spectators can't see it. This card is now folded up. And then he says, okay, Seal, so hold the cards for me. And now it would make sense in this card. This card's going to be face down. And then Seal's going to be holding the deck. It would just make more sense like that than giving the deck face up. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying. But that is kind of my opinion of what he's doing at this point. And also, another thing, the deck he's using is actually called the Phantom Deck. So this is kind of like a bot illusion. So he kind of did the same. If you guys know what the Omni Deck is, he did the same exact type of deck switch. Except for now, uh, the Phantom deck is going to be all those face-up, uh, or actually see-through cards, I mean. And what he does is he does the same routine um, as the Omni deck, where he would have, you know, his hand is here, Steel's hand is on top, and then he slips out 
the top card, which in this case is that king. So pretend now this is the king of diamonds that he had. So that way, there's no way I can manipulate the cards. Yeah, right on top. Now, would it be impressive, Mel, if I could pull Heidi's card from the deck with just one hand? Would that be impressive? Yeah. All right, here we go. You're right. That would have been really impressive. You know, with that little Pop-Tart thingy. And he's showing it. He said, you know what? Well, this isn't your card. And then he goes ahead and shows that these cards are all, uh, you know, see-through. And then he says, and this isn't your card. But what it does have is that drawing of the Pop-Tart. So here's the other part of the trick. So these cards, pretend, remember, these are still these... Uh, you see through cards, these are all spread out on the table. He has the king. I believe he still has his card, the Spectre's card, folded up somewhere in his pocket or something. And he says, you know what? Okay, let's take that pop card or that pop tart from the beginning. So remember guys, he threw that pop tart all the way across the table. He didn't touch it the entire trick. So in my opinion, um that really is um that really is it might be a really sealed up bag, but the pop tart has not been tampered. At this point, there's no card already in you know i already thought about maybe if there's like a duplicate you know there's maybe some way that that he you know there's i'll show you guys screenshots there's no way he could have duplicated this signature it looks exactly the same so at this point you have the empty pop tart on the left side so let's throw away the king or whatever he used and now at this point he tells howie to start to open he you know he says you know check for rips or whatever and then he tells Howie to go ahead and open it up. Now here's the thing. He tells Howie to open up the Pop-Tart and the camera shows that there's some, you know, there's some more wrapping on it. But immediately after he says that, the camera, it looks like and it sounds like it cut to him saying, okay, now open it or now uh, break it open. You pick up that snack. No. Make sure there's no cuts, slits or tears anywhere on that, yeah? No, it's, it's, it's a sealed. Inside. Tear okay. that thing open. Okay. Break that in half. No. Because there's no way he still has, in the first shot, how he has the wrapping on the pop tart. And then he says, now break that open. And now there's no wrapping. And how he immediately starts to break it open. So in my opinion, there there was most likely a camera cut where how he was, um, he unwrapped the, uh, the pop tart and the pop tart. He must have, there's no way that, in my opinion, there's no way there's a duplicate card. So there must have been a slit in the Pop-Tart. So in my opinion, the wrapping was taken off the Pop-Tart. And then uh, he probably grabbed the Pop-Tart from Howie and did some more misdirection, you know, talking, probably talk, talking about school. I actually watched Card Shuffler 99's, um, you know, kind of reveal this. So I'm taking a little bit of this. He was talking about, you know, the wallet, uh, the card trick to wallet thing where there's a little slit. And that makes a lot of sense to me. So that's what I think he did um, in a nutshell. And then he gave the Pop-Tart back. To Howie, and then that's where you know they cut uh, they they cut the the video too, and then he opens it up. Oh my gosh, there's a card. Folded in half is one card, ladies and gentlemen. It is Heidi's signed card. And then because you can see there's clearly grease stains, the card was clearly in there. It wasn't it wasn't like there was no card or there was a different card in the pop tart, and then you switch the cards because the grease from the pop tart was still in the card with Heidi's name on it. So in my opinion, uh, you know that's kind of what happened. And then also, the other thing too is that he actually got cut from America's Got Talent, and I feel like this trick is definitely way too good to have them cut. So in my opinion, the judges themselves probably saw what he was doing, and then, you know, they decided to they decided to cut him after that, because there's no way a trick that good is going to get the kid cut. So anyways, that's my opinion. I think the camera guys had a lot to do with the performance. I hope this video makes sense to you guys. You know, like I said, I don't have all the answers, so make sure to help me out down in the comments below. And maybe, maybe in a couple days or a week or so, we'll have the full video up. So, anyways, this is it. Hope you guys like it. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.